On today's Rediscover the 80s review, we're going from one of the largest toys, I hope you had a chance to watch the Hot Toys Optimus Prime, to one of the smallest, yeah, that's right, the world's smallest Transformers, Bumblebee, coming up. <music> Jason again. Uh, thanks for rediscovering the 80s with me. Thanks for being a subscriber here on YouTube. And uh, on today's video, we're going to keep the Transformers vibe. Uh, we had a chance to review an awesome toy, that Hot Toys Optimus Prime. And uh, recently, if you watched my I Like Big Books and I Cannot Lie book review, Tammy also enticed me with one of the world's smallest Transformers. And uh, this one is actually Bumblebee. So we're going to open up this package today. We're going to uh, check out what all comes inside here with this uh, world's smallest Transformers. Let's check it out. All right, so here we are, the world's smallest Transformers. Now, if you're a child of the 80s like me and watch Transformers, the G1 Transformers, back when it debuted in 84 and just ran home from uh, the bus stop every day to uh, catch it along with G.I. Joe, you'll instantly recognize the artwork here as the part of the original uh, design for the original packaging, the classic Transformers logo, and just that grid background, the Optimus down here. That's just uh, classic Transformers. And there is three that you can get. So you've got Optimus, you've got Bumblebee, and you've got Starscream. And this uh, came out just this year. So, I'm going to put that down. Be careful, because this does look pretty on a shelf, or maybe even hanging up off for a display, but it is a little difficult to get into, so be careful as you're opening that. Uh, we did get, which I believe we also got, when I opened the uh, Wacky Packages Minis, this uh, little brochure here that has all the world's smallest stuff on there, so... Oh, there's some other stuff on here that I had not seen before. You got some keychains that uh, looks like features phrases from uh, Bob Ross, Parks and Rec, The Office, the world's smallest Hot Wheels, all your tiny arcades. Uh, there's a little rally case there. Wow, you even got a loop track? Are you kidding me? Look at all this stuff for Hot Wheels. This is great. The world's uh, smallest monster trucks. Oh my gosh, they've got tabletop arcades. I had not seen those. You've got the Boardwalk arcade games there. Uh, you got, uh, there's some rubber band, looks like guns. The Micro Arcade, this looks like the old uh, Nintendo Game & Watch type style. Oh, Burger Time, yes. And, uh... Some other world's smallest stuff on the back side here. Even more. Elf on the Shelf, Rubik's Cube, which I have, Mr. Potato Head, Care Bears, Nerf, uh, the Magic 8-Ball, Lincoln Logs. There's the G.I. Joe and Stretch Armstrong. And here's the Real American Hero. I wouldn't mind having a couple of those, actually. Uh, Snake Eyes in particular from that first line. There's three. There's actually Masters of the Universe. Tila, He-Man, Skeletor, Battle Cat. Sponge the world's smallest Viewmaster. No way. I had not seen full color images. Does it actually work? Oh my gosh, that'd be a crazy. Uh, Crocodile Dentist. Yeah, I remember that. At least commercials for that. Awesome stuff in the world's smallest uh, by Super Impulse, which is who made uh, this as well. So let's look at the actual figure you get with the world's smallest Transformers. So you get that classic uh, packaging, at least on this little card back here. Yeah, I mean, that's that's great. So you can keep them in here in case you, uh, so you don't lose them. And on the back, you've got a little door. Oh, there, there's the classic artwork right there. The battle with them all. You've got uh, Optimus over here. There's Starscream. I was thinking Megatron was on, like, on the other side of that. But 
There's the three, collect them all. Transforms from robot to car and back. Really? See, I was thinking it was just the figure. So you pull this out. Uh, let's see if we can pop Bumblebee out there. Put this down. Yeah, he does not transform. <laughs> this is just a figure. This is just a rubber. Well, it looks like you get a little bit of uh, movement with the arms. Can move his head. Sorry for the camera. Autofocus. Arms and head. Uh, I don't think anything with the legs. So, we wouldn't expect much articulation, but... Yeah, no, uh, no transforming right here. What else did we get here? That's in here. This must be... Oh, his little... Uh, stand so let's open this up a little clear stand you get that one tiny hole right there put them in there and then you can stand them up well, his feet are flat enough that really don't need the stand but you know for what it is you can keep it on there just to make sure he's not going to wobble around too much. But I like the idea of having this um, package. You know, it's it's almost like a blister card. At least made out to be that way. But, you know, you got a nice little storage place for him. So you're not going to, you know, lose him. Let's see if he'll go in there with the stand. Yeah, I'll kind of keep it a little bit tighter in there. And then it does have a little backing here. Maybe I'll use that to kind of keep him positioned in there. That way he's not moving around or anything when you are got him in your pocket or whatever. You remember, we, there used to be a lot of small little figures like this back in the day. The muscle figures that I've uh, reviewed here recently too. You know, you stick them in your pocket, take some... Take them with you and uh, easy play where you go. So, world smallest transformer bumblebee. Pretty darn cool. The world's smallest transformers bumblebee. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, it initially wouldn't uh, have got my money, but I do appreciate Tammy for uh, sending it my way and allowing me to uh, actually review it here on YouTube. And, uh, I'm going to be looking out for some more of this world's smallest stuff. Maybe the G.I. Joe figures. Uh, it just seems like they're adding more stuff each month. So, uh, glad I was actually hooked up with them to get the wacky packages, minis, and maybe we'll get some more uh, world's smallest things to review as they become available. But, uh, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for being a subscriber. And we will catch you next time right here on the Rediscover the 80s channel. See ya.